Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for February 19th of 2023 well, it is titled Seven Dusty Sisters in Infrared. So what do we see here? Well, here is an image of the Pleiades star cluster. Now we've seen the Pleiades star cluster before and you may think it looks nothing like this. And that is because this is in infrared light. Now the stars are actually visible there but are hidden in the dust. Now infrared light is much better at picking up the dust and the details in the dust. So in reality we look at things at different wavelengths because they give us a different view of the universe. So when we look at just one wavelength say visible light we get an incomplete picture because we're only looking at one section of the electromagnetic spectrum. Now when some things like stars do give off primarily visible light, which means we're not getting a very uh, inaccurate picture for something like that. But for other objects, we may be only seeing a very tiny portion of the light that they are emitting. Now you can see the seven sisters here if you look closely, but let's go ahead and look and put an inset image here that you can see the uh, the Pleiades cluster in visible light and there you see the distinct blue pattern of the Pleiades star cluster. And as we go back and forth, you can note that several of those stars match up very well with the stars that we see in the infrared image. However, the infrared image emphasizes the dust and de-emphasizes the stars. Now that's because these are very hot stars. So most of their light is being put out in the ultraviolet portion of the spectrum, much shorter wavelengths. So they are not putting as much of their energy out in the infrared. And the dust puts out most of its light in the infrared. So that allows us to better see here and to see a lot of the structures that are going on. When we looked at the regular image of the Pleiades, we see some wisps of dust scattered around. However, when we look in the infrared, we can see a lot more details and all the different filaments associated with this star cluster uh, because of the way the Pleiades stars are repelling certain smaller dust particles and giving us these kind of filamentary structure. Now the colors that we see in the infrared image are of course false color images because infrared light is not visible. So it is actually a color coded that the red color here corresponds to 24 microns, the green to 12 microns and the blue to 4.6 microns. So the redder are longer wavelengths of infrared light and the blue are the shorter wavelengths of infrared light. So we can put them together here to really get an interesting picture of the dust surrounding the Pleiades star cluster. So that was our picture of the day for February 19th of 2023. It was titled Seven Dusty Sisters in Infrared. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be stars and streaks. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.